I'm about to go do a tree job right quick. Destroying my truck looking for my cell phone holder. The holes my cell phone on my side. It was on my side. Don't laugh! That's not as bad though as the one where I was looking for my camera and I had my camera in my hand though. And that's in a video too, by the way. Man, I just get in a hurry. All, I'm in a hurry all the time. I'm constantly in a hurry. Just get scatter rain, you know? But we're in the back here right now. We'll jump out, grab my chainsaw and a couple other things and we're heading on down. We're heading around here on the road to go take down a, a dead pine tree in the the real lovely thing about this whole deal is the tree's in a bad spot in here, but the wind's gusting about 25 miles an hour right now too. The wrong way. So that's why I'm hopping on the backhoe here. And I'm gonna take y'all along so we can get us a video. A bucket full of junk back there. I don't know what that's about, but the other problem with this tree's dead. It's deader than Dale Earnhardt. Deader than Elvis. And uh it's a pine too. So that's no good. I'll show y'all when I get over here. And I've got to get out on the highway on the back over here right quick. Everybody been fussing at me about hauling it back home on for my truck. I just gave in. I thought well, I just drive it everywhere I go and I'll hold everybody up for an hour driving down the road. Not really. I really don't care what people say about me hauling it. It's just around the corner, so it's quicker for me to drive it. Folks on the highway here just going to deal with it for a second. So here's the funny thing about this is, is this is for a buddy of mine, Dean, the one that y'all hear me talk about all the time. This is at Dean's daddy-in-law's house, and I'm fixing to take this tree down at. And so he's all excited because he's going to... This is, I think this is going to be his Christmas present to his daddy-in-law. But the problem is, is I haven't priced this tree to Dean yet. And so he don't know that this little tree taking down job six will cost him a grand. So I'm going to film that live on camera when I tell him it's going to cost him a thousand dollars. He's going to be wishing he got his daddy-in-law a fishing rod or something time I get done with him. <laughs> You said this was going to be your daddy-in-law's Christmas present, right? See, so th I'm fixing to educate you right quick, Hunter, okay? All right, so this is going to be daddy-in-law's Christmas present, which is your granddad. Your dad's going to pay for it, I'm assuming. But see, what he don't, he's all giddy about it. He don't realize that he's going to owe me a $1,000 when it's all done. See, now look, he's starting to... <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I'm sure we can probably work something <laughs> out. I gotta get a video out of it, dude. That's right. You got to. You know, I was talking to him on the way over here, and I said, you know, I got Jill's psycho mom number one, and Shiloh's number two, and Erica's number three. So that makes Homer a psycho dad, because he, you know, if he's got two daughters, that makes him a psycho dad, too. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Bless his heart. I'm telling you. You see, the problem with this tree is it's dead. And I mean, it's rotten deep into it right there. You see, it's got a bad spot right there too. All right, and it's got to get down in between these trees right here. This is going to be my safest spot to, to put it. The problem with these, these trees like this right here is it's dead up here. I'm hoping down here it's going to be, no, nah, it's going to be bad right here too. You see how that barks? Peeling. You see, we got a building right there. These trees right here can get you in trouble quick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a massive hinge on this thing right here. And I'm gonna let the backhoe do the work for it. What, uh, 
on my game plan. Well, I had one like this one time. The only one of these trees I ever let get away from me. We were doing a, a mission project for the church for a lady. And it was a dead one, had a bad top in it. And I bored into that thing. And as soon as I pulled the saw out, that tree popped. Mm. It took the front eave off that house. So then we had to call in the, the carpentry crew men on the mission board. <laughs> so, so look, if this thing hits that thing, okay, we're not telling Homer nothing, okay? Homer, Homer ain't gonna Homer ain't gonna know nothing. He's just gonna come in, the pavilion gonna be smashed. We'll have a bonfire tonight. Maybe he won't notice it. If it hits the building, then uh, the wind blew it over. There, there we go, there we go, all right.
just saved our kahunas right here. Y'all see them right there? The only thing that saved us was this coal. Right <laughs> if not, we'd have got smoked by them things right there. I get a thousand dollars per steam. That's what I get. I'm trying to keep them off of you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You want to see me do some psycho kung fu moves? You let me get covered up with them things. So I'll go through the thickest crap you ever seen in your life trying to get them off of me. <laughs> I left the tractor going. Yeah, I have too. Boy, you can tell they, them are some biggins too, man. <laughs> you done got me jumpy over here, dude. Well, one, two, three. Okay. Them are some biggins right there too, boy. Hey. I mean, there's a bunch of them right there. I put that out rigger right on top of them, I mean. Right there's the hole where they right there's the hole. Right there. Yep. That's the hole where they're coming out at. I'm glad you found it. Yeah. Y'all see I cut all the burrs off that stump right there too, so nobody gets stabbed on it. That oil in it. Oh yeah. Die. I hate a freaking yellow jacket. Yellow jackets killed it. 